The other day I was at the beach. It was 93 degrees outside. What else are you gonna do? I went to the beach and I was swimming and I was walking out of the beach. I was leaving the beach. As I'm leaving, I walk on something that just annihilated my foot and I didn't realize it at the time. And I'm gonna get to a point here. I didn't realize it at the time until I, I tried to stand up when I got back to my house and I'm like, wow, that really hurts. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of this experiment with the cellar sizer. What am I gonna do? I can't really, you know, walk, let alone run on this thing for like, you know, the 12 to 15 minutes that I've been doing. And that's what I'm like, oh, well you can sit bounce. And actually during my recovery from having my ankle replaced, I would sit bounce actually quite often uh, just because I couldn't do anything else. I really couldn't leave the house. I couldn't, well, I mean, I could leave the house, but it was it was, it was was a chore. I couldn't really leave the, the main floor. I, I was stuck. And I'm like, I wanna do something. So I would sit bounce. And it made me think like, even if you are somebody who can't really stand or walk or is, you know, chair bound or something like that, you can still get on a rebounder. I use a cellar sizer. I will link it down below. It's an affiliate link. If you don't want to help me out, that's fine. You don't have to click on it. Whatever. It doesn't, you know, either way, I just want people to look into this. And I, I, I'm like, all right, so I'm going to condense a workout because there's no way I'm going to be able to go from doing, I don't know, anywhere between 20, 30 minutes of rebounding a day down, you know, I'm not going to be able to sit bounce for that long. And I, I couldn't, but I actually managed to get 11 minutes out. It was actually 11 minutes and 11 seconds. I, I don't know. It was so many ones in a row. I remember it. And so I'm thinking, wow, that was a really good workout. So if you are somebody who has bad feet, has a bad ankle, has two bad ankles, has a bad knee, has a bad whatever hip or whatever. Now you can actually help yourself with those things on the seller sizer. But if you just stepped on something like me, or if you actually can't, you know, do something or whatever, you can actually sit bounce. Now, I don't have any of it filmed because I really didn't come to this epiphany until after I had really done it. But I felt muscles that I was not working. It's not like I wasn't working them at all. But I could not believe that the workout that I got from this thing, it was insane. It was insane. I'm still, I still feeling it. And this workout was on Saturday. So what is it, Tuesday? Four days. I've been sit bouncing basically. And I, I'm working stuff that I wasn't working even when I was doing my jogging and my health bouncing and, and, and my other different stuff. Now I'm at the point where I can do like 10 minutes of sit bouncing and like another 10 minutes of stand standing on it because my foot's gotten a little bit more in alignment with reality here, but it still hurts a bit. And so I have the option of sit bouncing and I don't want somebody who watches my videos who might have, who might have issues with standing to think that they can't rebound because you can, right? I've even seen people uh, do, uh, you know, lay down on, on the trampoline and kind of just move a little bit if their lymphatic is really bad. People who are, are chair bound are, are gonna have bad lymphatic. I've actually seen people put chairs on a rebounder and uh, just kind of with the balance bar, move themselves up and down and get themselves to a point where they can actually get to standing on it. You know, it, it, you're probably not going to be super jogging or running on it or, you know, doing any crazy things on it, but you can get yourself to a point of better health. You know, it, it can't, it's not always going to be about getting yourself to the optimal you know, beach body or whatever you want to do. It might just be getting yourself back into health. And that is basically what this journey has been. I wanted to put this video out there. It's not, it's not a very long video. I'm not gonna put any statistics up or anything like that. If you wanna see that, I made a, a video about losing 12 pounds in a month on the rebounder uh, a couple weeks, like a week ago maybe. Uh, if I remember, I'll put it, uh, tag a card for it here somewhere. But go check that out. It was a great workout, it really was. Now, again, like I said in these other videos, do not let momentum take control. You're not doing anything for yourself if you're, if you're using momentum. Make sure the muscles that you can actually use are, are, are working and make sure they are where they're supposed to be. So if you're, show, if you're kind of doing this kind of thing when you're bouncing, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of issues with that. Not a lot, but you're gonna have some issues with that. I, I don't wanna, you know, make it an extreme here, but it doesn't do you any good to have things out of alignment when you're bouncing, whether it's standing, sitting, running, jumping, be in alignment. 
with where your body is supposed to be and you will get the best workout that you can from it and if, if i had known this actually even back when i bought it in 2014 actually i started rebounding before that but i got the seller sizer in 2014 it started rebounding in 2009 2008 well, uh somewhere in there if i had known that in the beginning my progress would be so much farther along and i actually in my mind, this is way better for you than riding bike. It has given me what much more progress because when I was riding bike, I lost all of my upper body mass. It was it was kind of ridiculous. You know, some people like that. It's just not for me. I'm just you know, I, I just like being a bigger guy. That's it. Anyway, uh, comments, questions down below. Like again, like I said again, I put the link for it, the affiliate link, uh, down in the descriptions description section go check it out it was on sale i don't know if it still is that's it uh like subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next one